First, Jimmy Ray Slaughter is sentenced to die. He's on death row in Oklahoma for a double homicide he says he didn't commit. And the only thing now that can save him is a last minute pardon from the governor or perhaps science. That's because a new technology called brain fingerprinting claims to be able to see the truth locked inside his memory. So can a computerized test indeed confirm that Slaughter was never at the crime scene? Here's Jay Ingram with the details. This very well could mean the difference between life and death. Time is ticking away for convicted killer Jimmy Ray Slaughter. He's on death row for a crime he swears he didn't commit. This is gonna... Today, Dr. Larry Farwell is giving him a test that could save him from execution. It's a new technology to find the truth stored inside a mind. The brain is always there, planning, executing, and recording the crime. It's called brain fingerprinting. Today, Jimmy Ray Slaughter hopes it will reveal he's innocent of one of Oklahoma's worst double homicides. It was a crime that shocked the quiet town of Edmond, Oklahoma. When my sister got here, the door was unlocked, so she went into the house and found the little girl laying on the floor. And she thought she had fallen down for a second, but she found a pool of blood, so she knew she was dead. Then she went into the bedroom or into another room and saw the mother laying on the floor, nude, in a pool of blood. Slaughter's ex-girlfriend, Melody Sue Wirtz, and their 11-month-old daughter, Jessica, were shot and killed in their home. No, I didn't kill them. And that's the truth. Slaughter says he's not the murderer, but a jury thought otherwise. He's just months away from lethal injection. Brain fingerprinting may be Jimmy Ray Slaughter's last hope because he's been sentenced to death for a double murder and he's essentially exhausted his appeals. The only thing that could change this would be newly discovered evidence. This will pick up the electrical signals from the brain. Farwell's been working on this brain fingerprinting test for the last 20 years. Brain fingerprinting is a technique for using brain waves, electrical brain activity measured from the scalp with a headband, to detect whether information is stored in the brain or not. Here's how it works. Words or phrases are flashed in front of the suspect. Some are targets, things that Farwell knows they know. Some are irrelevant, and some are called probes. Probes are important details from the crime scene. Suspects push a button when they recognize something, but this is just a prop to keep them focused. Farwell is really watching brain waves. If the suspect recognizes something, the brain unconsciously emits this pattern. It's called a P300. The response that we measure is involuntary and instantaneous. If he recognizes something as significant, like, aha, yeah, that's the murder weapon, then we'll get a brain response that lets our computer know that he recognizes it. If he doesn't recognize that word or phrase or picture, then we'll get a different brain response. Today, these peaks and valleys could point to Jimmy Ray Slaughter's guilt or innocence. First stimulus, starting about 10 seconds. Some of them are relevant to the murder, and some of them are not. The critical question is whether Slaughter's brain recognizes the crime scene probes, things only the murderer would know. It took more than a month to design Slaughter's test, but only a couple of hours to get his results. You can see here the probes are this blue line. They match the green line. There's no recognition response. So what this tells us is that you don't know some of the most critical salient details about that crime. We have at least a 99% confidence that you don't have that information in your brain. So what does that mean to you? It means that what I've said all along is true. What would you say all along? That I was innocent. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The record stored in his brain does not match the crime scene details. This new evidence could save his life. The thing that this uh, brain mapping has done has given me my hope back. And it was just about gone. Slaughter's attorneys are appealing to the state court. As for Dr. Farwell, he's on to his next case, and there's a backlog of 400 
waiting for him.